Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Welcome to Chase to Health. I'm going to do a review here on a custard apple from Miami Vice, Miami Fruit Company. Got a shipment today. I'm really excited to try this. You wanna wait till it's soft all over, and it's important to make sure it's soft around the stem. So if it's soft in one spot, but not around the stem, then you don't wanna eat it yet. You wanna wait for, for it to ripen. Apparently some of them are gonna turn red when they're ready to ripen, but this one I think just stayed the same color because it's definitely ready to eat. So what you're gonna do here is you cut it down the long way, down the center here. And that is a weird smell. I've heard someone say it, it's supposed to be like cotton candy. But this doesn't smell like cotton candy. I guess, I don't know, does cotton candy ever smell? God, it doesn't smell... What does it smell like? I can't tell. It smells, it reminds me of something. Almost like a vegetable or something. Can't think of it though. So, anyway, I'm gonna try it. So you're not supposed to eat the seeds. Pretty good. Definitely seeds. Okay, so now I'm getting the hints of cotton candy. There's like something else in there though. Like a, like rhubarb. Is it rhubarb? Is that what it is? It's good though. Ah, oh, it's good. So it definitely, ha it's almost like kind of like a, the texture's kind of, I'd say almost pasty. Like a stickier avocado kind of thing. It kind of reminds me a little bit of soursop, except the texture is really consistent throughout. It's just kind of like a paste. It's like a... If you could just eat this and there weren't any seeds, I feel like it'd be so much better. These seeds are kind of like the soursop, kind of like the buzzkill a little bit. Just gotta make some kind of machine that can separate it out. Yeah, there's definitely like a, like a tartness to it. Here I go. Man, eating like fruit that's fresh is just, just feels really good. Every time I eat this Miami fruit stuff, whatever it is, I just can, I feel really good. And it's definitely really pasty. Definitely probably classified as a uh, sweet fruit. Mm. Oh, it's just a big bite without any seeds. It was awesome. Yeah, so it's like pasty. Some of the texture is pasty, but other parts of it are, it's almost like, um, God, what's that other fruit? Um, similar to the cherimoya or the sugar apple. Sometimes there's like almost like a grain, graininess to it. More towards the skin, it seems like. That's good. Gets the chase, chase to health, seal of approval. Oh my god. This tastes like, it's almost like ice cream, but it's like not, it's not cold. I feel like I'm at the state fair or something, and I got like some from a, this, it, it's, I can't believe this is the fruit. This is crazy. Oh my God. Yeah, the seeds bother me a little bit, but not as bad as the, the soursop. That was rough. I love the soursop, but the seeds were rough. If they could ever make a seed, this one of these, it would be like dangerous. It's pretty filling too. Like a, that's a good amount of food right there. You could split this with someone and like, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. You can really get down to the skin here, but it is a little grainier. All right, second half here. See if it was good as, as good as the first. It really is creamy. It's like, it's like ice cream. Mm. Definitely probably takes like 20 minutes to eat one of these though, I'm just guessing. You could probably spit out the seeds quicker, but I'm trying to get like all the meat off the seed, so I'm taking longer, but if you had like a whole tree of these, maybe you wouldn't care as much. But I've never had one of these before, <laughs> so I don't want to waste any of it. Like, there's no need to ever give your kids ice cream if you can give them one of these. Like, this is like, oh man, wow. And nature just provided this to us. Yeah, definitely could see me um, needing to live it in the tropics someday. Because, um, God, if I could just have trees, like, I've been told before, um, this woman who took me for a bike ride in Montezuma, Costa Rica, she was really interested in, in my diet. She was telling yeah. me that I would never have to pay for food. She said, like, she knows where all the trees are, and there's like different trees that there's fruit all throughout the year. And you just go to these trees and it's free. And there's more fruit than anyone even wants to eat there. And it's like right off the tree. So it's like amazingly fresh. Oh my god. I really do. I taste the cotton candy now. It's weird. I feel like it's gotten, it's started, it's tasting better. I think there's this weird thing with fruit that like, 
It's like the opposite of cooked food sometimes. Like cooked food is so stimulating to your brain and your taste buds. It's like an explosion in your brain when you're eating it, right? And then maybe like for an hour afterwards you feel okay, but then as the food starts to digest and it actually gets in your system, you start to feel like not good, right? You still kind of have the food coma, but now you don't have any of the good feeling from the stimulation. And like your body was excited that, oh, we've got food, so you get a reward in your brain. You know, you get dopamine and endorphins and, and all that. So you feel great. But then when the food gets in your system, the toxins, then you just feel crappy. That in a combination with being dehydrated, right? Because you got anything that's less than 75% water is gonna dehydrate you because that's what your that's what your stool is when you go to the bathroom. So if you eat corn chips, which are 1% water, then that other water is gonna have to come from your cells in your body. Anyway, I'm rambling, but the point is, is that it's the opposite, right? So with cooked food, it's really great while you're eating it. And like, it's like, it blows your brain sometimes. And then you start to feel worse from it. Whereas with fruit, when you're trying a new fruit, it's like maybe there's like a weird flavor. You just like don't know how to feel about it. But then you eat it and then you start digesting it really quickly. It gets in your system and your brain's like, whoa, what did you find? What is this? This is good. And then it goes to your brain to tell you it's good, right? And you're eating a mono meal, right? So it's like very specific. When you're eating a normal cooked meal, there's tons of different ingredients, so your brain doesn't know which one it really likes or not. This is one flavor, and so it goes to your brain. So that's what I think happened. So I think now it tastes like really, really good to me, and I'm feeling really, really good from it. I feel energized, and I feel just good. I feel happy. My stomach feels really good, like it's digesting really well. You know, if this was ice cream, that wouldn't be the case. <laughs> I would definitely encourage anyone who's eating dairy to, if you don't eliminate it, like completely, definitely, you shouldn't be eating it every day. It's it's toxic. It's toxic, toxic to the body. Plus, if you love animals, then eating dairy wouldn't really align with you, in my opinion. Oh man. I mean, if you ever see a cow, cows are sweet. They're really sweet. They don't deserve it. Also, people can poison themselves. That doesn't make sense. Now when there's this round, okay? There's this. Like, you could freeze this and you can make ice cream. Oh man, I did that with the sour stuff. I haven't made ice cream with it yet, but I really should do that with this, but I'm not going to because I'm gonna eat all this. But next time I get one of these, hopefully I get one in my variety box again. Also, it's not warm. If it was like summer, then I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Plus this is like really good. This is like a sweet fruit, but I don't know what the deal is. It's like, cause when I've had mame in the past, like I can't finish it. But when I eat this, it uh, feels really good. That's one of the main things I love about this diet. I struggled with digestion. A lot of my life was just grinning and bearing the pain and you know, trying to go through my life, trying to function, trying to interact with people and just digging my toes into the ground so I could not look like I'm in pain in my face eating fruit now, not only does my stomach obviously not, I don't have pain anymore, but now it's like, I don't even like feel digestion happening. Oh my God. It's like nothing but like a good, like a slight good feeling in my stomach. No heaviness. Oh my God. I'm gonna be honest. When I first smelled this, it was like, it was kind of off-putting. I was a little like, oh, this isn't gonna be any good, but wow. My brain reprogrammed itself to think this is good. Oh my God. I really like the slight tartness to it. It's like the, on the sour meter, serometer, the sourometer. <laughs> um, it's like a one, you know? It's like, it's got a little something, got a little something there, but uh, you know, just to balance the sweetness. Oh, yeah, it was really good. It was a, when I ate the sour sop, I bit on the seeds a ton. The only one seed I, I bit on, and this didn't hurt as bad, but I still didn't feel good on my tooth. So I definitely want to be careful about those seeds. Man, I almost got away with it. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling seeds. You guys can cut that one out, right? It wasn't my best improv. It was my best improv. I really thought I was better than that. Okay, fine, leave it in. Mm. All right, wow. Is it over? So I loved it. I absolutely loved it. At first I opened it up and I was kind of like a little disappointed. Some of the other fruits that I've tried like smelled really exciting. So 
but when I started eating it, I was like, okay, it's all right, you know, it's a little, the rhubarb thing kind of threw me at first, or like the tartness, but as I started eating it, I really liked it. And then the second half was amazing. Yeah, I really liked that. I feel like that was like the perfect amount of food too. Like, I feel like really satisfied, but I don't feel full, completely full. Yeah, so, all right, uh, thanks for watching guys. Yeah, I got some more fruit to review. So uh, subscribe for future videos and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends. All right, see you guys.